very, very, very bad, bad. <laughs> An underrated episode, um, and also one that, you know, I think is well known. Um, the cafe was actually had two stories in there that was, um, and a third story that kind of like dragged over over the next couple of episodes. Um, but the Dream Cafe was actually based off a couple of real life experiences by the writer of this episode, um, Tom Leopold. Um, he lived where he lived. There was this cafe around a corner called the Dream Cafe, and he he lived like right in that neighborhood. He was just fascinated by this restaurant. And of course, you know, small little restaurant, only just a couple tables, but the menu choices was huge, but nobody would go in. And of course, you know, that was a story for Jerry, who just, you know, was just fascinated by seeing if anybody would ever go inside of there and help um, this immigrant who was who just started his own restaurant. Um, and Jerry was like obsessing over it. And he wanted to go in, but he was like, if I go in, I'm going to have to go in every time. You know, it's it's like he, he would be like like you know the guy's like favorite customer basically. He didn't want to get get you know continue on that and it'd be awkward and everything. Um, so that was the main gist of the story. And of course, the immigrant's name is Babu Bot, um, who was played by Brian George, uh, who if most of you watch The Big Bang Theory knows he played um, Rajesh Kutrapali's father, a gynecologist uh, from India. Um, Brian George, well. The character of Babu Bot was actually Pakistani, um, and um, uh, Brian George was actually from Israel. So um, the other story before we move on, because it kind of like all ties in, of course, together, is George was dating a woman who really liked him, um, and she, I guess, was like a, a psychiatrist. And again, this is actually happened with Tom Leopold. Also, he was dating a woman. Um, who was a psychiatrist who was giving out I IQ tests and you know obviously to be a little more supportive you know George was taking an IQ test but um, but obviously you know he was worried like oh the truth you know will come out that I'm not really that smart and George like everybody thinks I'm smart but this is going to reveal bad things and you know Jerry asks him you know what did you get on the SATs um, he says, well, I tell people I got, I got like a 1409, but he says he ain't telling anyone until he gets to his grave what his actual scores were, which he was embarrassed about, which I think he actually mentions in the nose job episode. I think it was like an 820, I think. I can't remember exactly, but um, something like that. But anyways, uh, George freaking out about it finds out that Elaine was really smart and her IQ is like 141 or something like, like, like that. Um, so then they make a joke saying, like, you know, well, why don't Elaine take the IQ test for George? Which she agrees, but she's like, where are we going to take this test at? So Jerry jokingly said, take it at the Dream Cafe. No one's there. So that's what happened. George um, stayed in his girlfriend Monica's bedroom. Um, and um, he said he was going to be taking the test in there. Well, Elaine was outside the window because she lived on the first floor, and George handed a test to her through the window, and um, and um, she and he gave her time to be back by with, with, with the test. So of course, you know, George of course locked the door, and Monica couldn't come in to you know do anything, you know, take care of anything while George was taking the test because he didn't, she didn't, he want to get she want to get caught. So Jerry goes to the Dream Cafe, and. Um, and um, he um, he ordered. I forgot what he ordered. He he ordered like turkey or like turkey or something like that. I can't remember what it was he ordered. Um, and then Elaine came in, and she starts working on the test. And at first, uh, she told Babu she was going to have just just tea and toast, which Babu was disappointed because that's like basically nothing. And then Jerry talks her into getting something like you know bigger. And then of course Jerry, who's acting like overjoyed like this is the best food he's ever had obviously just trying to be nice and help the guy feel better because nobody is you know coming into his restaurant and all whatsoever um so elaine gets the rigatoni um but then kramer came in and kramer this is the story that kind of goes over the next three episodes kramer says starts mentioning about there was this guy who left his jacket at his mother's like two years earlier and now the guy's hunting down Kramer saying he wants that jacket back. 
but Kramer won't give it to him. Um, and he's basically saying, like, you know, there's no other, like, I, 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 a statute of limitations. Well, first, he was saying it's the statute of limitations, not the statute of limitations. And, of course, you know, they're asking, you know, Elaine about what it is, but Elaine's trying to concentrate, and she can't concentrate because Kramer's interrupting her, asking, like, you know, like, a, like 20 questions that's, like, not important at all. So, um, Babu walks over and brings us in, like, like the hot, steaming hot rag or whatnot just to wash our hands, but, of course, it was a very hot, hot rag. Well, Kramer takes it and <laughs> pulls a Kramer and goes, like, ah, ah, and just, like, flails from it being hot, just, like, flops over the chair and, um, and just, like, a madman and just, like, causes chaos. So then, of course, you know, again, Elaine just can't concentrate and then Babu later comes out to serve with the, the, the rigatoni, but accidentally spills it on Elaine, on, on the test. And Elaine was out of time anyway, so she goes, I gotta get going anyways. So, as she leaves, Babu just looks, you know, depressed. Um, Jerry, though, then makes a suggestion to Babu. He goes, well, he goes, you know, your, you know, your food's great and everything, but he, he suggests, like, you know, with how big of a, a choice you have, why not make yourself a little more unique, and since you're from Pakistan, make it more of, like, a Pakistani restaurant? Which Babu thinks is a good idea. He calls Jerry a very good man. You're a very kind man. Very, very, very good man. And he closes down for renovation. Um... Of course, um, George comes by. Well, first, Elaine drops off the test back at the apartment just in time for when time was up. And, if, and of course, George has to cover up for why why the the, the, the test has um, food spilt on it and everything, which Monica buys into saying, you're quite the man, George. Because Andrews is like, what can I say? Until, of course, because of all the distractions and everything, and Elaine couldn't concentrate, George comes by later and says that he got an 85 on the IQ test. An 85! So, obviously, he's doubting Elaine. And then Elaine was saying how, like, you know, give me a second chance. Let me take it again. She goes, I can do it better. She goes, I was distracted. The Babu, Kramer, this, this, and that. And then, but then, of course, they come. finally, George agrees. And Jerry says, take the test here. You know, I'll leave. You know, that way you won't have any distractions. Which, George's able to talk uh, Monica into letting him retake the test because he was embarrassed. He said that, he said something like, like, that she looked at him like the same look that his father gave George when he told him he wanted to become a, a, a ventriloquist. So, uh, Jerry goes, on the day of the second test, Jerry goes to the Dream Cafe, which Babu came in and was miserable. Um, Jerry, of course, had been out of town. Said he'd been out of town, which is why he missed the grand reopening. And he's like, "Yeah, some reopening." Basically, he like you know like sarcasm. So um, Jerry, I think, orders the shrimp. I think it was. So Babu goes to make it. Obviously, he's just annoyed and depressed and embarrassed. Um, so George is back at Monica's, waiting for Elaine to come back with a test. Um, uh, Elaine was at Jerry's apartment, and she was just like nailing everything. She felt confident and ready. Um, and she finishes the test, and she has plenty of time. She gets ready to leave. However, Kramer just runs into the apartment and locks the door. The guy who Kramer, um, who, um, who was trying to get that jacket off of Kramer was chasing him down in the hallway. And Kramer said, I went into, um, he came into Jerry's apartment thinking it would throw him off because the guy knew where Kramer lives. And Elaine, though, says, but I gotta get out. He goes, he goes I, I, I'm taking this this test. But the guy saw Kramer going to Jerry's apartment. So Kramer's like, well, I can't let you out now or else I'll, I'll be doomed. And the guy was, like, banging on the door viciously. He wanted to break down the door and get that jacket off of Kramer. Obviously, though, time ran up. Monica came in. She's like, where's the test? No thing after that. Obviously, it shows that, you know, the truth came out. George said he was cheating on the IQ test and him and Monica were done. Um... And then, of course, meanwhile, Jerry's at the Dream Cafe eating, and um, this is a scene also where Brian George said he he couldn't get, had a hard time getting through because it was just so funny. So Jerry's sitting there, you know, eating his his food, 
like happy as a clam, like acting like this is the best thing ever. Babu's in the corner, just like angry, seething, like your plan did not work. Like nothing's working. Obviously, he knows that his restaurant is doomed, and that you know he's gonna have to close down. So Jerry's like, "Hey, Babu, 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 come over here," and um, they just couldn't keep a straight face. They they both just kept laughing and breaking character because it was just. You know, they're trying to, you know, stay angry, but then there's Jerry just, like, acting like he's having the time of his life, and then there's Babu, who's just miserable as hell. Um, but then, of course, you know, Babu finally just outbursts on Jerry, because Jerry says, I'm like, you know, the shrimp's good, but he just made, just made a little suggestion, and then finally he goes, you shut up! I closed down the restaurant! I changed it to Pakistani! But there's no people! Show me people! Show me people! You're bad man! You're very, very, very bad man! So obvious, and then he's like, "I'll take the check," and then he just walk, storms he storms away, telling that Jerry's a bad man. You're a bad man, very, very, very bad man, very, very, very bad. Of course, we all know that Brian George would reprise his character as Babu um, in season four in the Visa, and then of course he was the one who was told he was basically going to put the nail on the coffin in the finale, which I could literally almost quote that entire scene. When we get to the finale, I'm sure I will be doing that and um, do my best impersonation of Babu Bot. Babu, Babu, you bad man, you very, very, very bad man. But then, of course, um, Elaine returns back to Monica's apartment, and Monica's at the window. Obviously, George was gone, and she says, "So I know. I hope you do better this time." Later, Monica apparently ran into Elaine and said her IQ is now 151, which could have been great for George. And at the same time, they were staring down. Um, they were staring down. Well, of course, Kramer ended up having to give up the jacket, but he was on the hunt to try to get it back in the next two episodes. Well, it's mentioned in the next episode. The following episode, though, is when he got it back, um, which... I think it was, I can't remember, but but he definitely, you know, had his plan, because the guy who um, had that jacket, it was revealed in the next episode, He was, the guy was arrested for mail fraud, um, and he intends to find out whatever happened with the jacket, which he was trying to get it back in the following episode. Um, but, um, which of course was like a, kind of like a third, like, subplot, basically, and whatnot. Uh, but obviously, they just watched the Dream Cafe, you know, fold up. And as Jerry said, the problem was just, just in, in a, it was in, in, in a good area, basically. But, um, yeah, it's a good episode. I'd say it's a little underrated. It's not my favorite, but it, it's definitely... It's one I would definitely, like, you know, would go back and watch, you know, multiple times. Because, you know, again, Babu was definitely a great character. Um, and the storyline was, was pretty good. So, good episode for the cafe. The next episode, it's one of my personal favorites. And to me... A very underrated episode of Seinfeld that does not get the recognition it deserves. So I can't wait to talk about the next episode, the tape. So guys, what are your thoughts on the cafe? What are your thoughts on the Dream Cafe? Please leave your thoughts down in the comment section below. And if you do not, you're a bad man. You're very, very, very bad man.